geomagnetic solar storm, impacting the Earth right now. According to Space Weather, the large sunspot AR-2936 was the source of the explosion. The long-lasting flame lasted over four hours, so it put a lot of energy into the CME. Thus, moderately strong G2-class geomagnetic storms are expected to be felt on Earth. During such storms, auroras can be seen in the Arctic Circle. The large, sunspot region AR-2936 which quadrupled in size in 48 hours over the past weekend, released a coronal mass ejection directed towards Earth. Subscribe to the channel. Coronal mass ejections are powerful eruptions near the Sun's surface driven by folds in the solar magnetic field. Sunspot AR2936 is much larger than Earth when we talk about a sunspot, in this case AR2936. We are referring to a giant area on the surface of our star. In fact, this area is much larger than planet Earth. In such a way that the stain can be seen with the naked eye with a sunscreen. Typically, the arrival of a CME is detected by spacecraft such as NOAA's Discover, when charged particles from the Sun are still about 1.6 million kilometers away. This space weather is expected to persist through February 3rd, but get weaker over the hours. Therefore, a G1 geomagnetic storm watch will be in effect through Thursday, likely unsurprising from the low-intensity forecasts. The first aurora borealis resulting from this interaction between solar particles and our atmosphere are already appearing in places like Norway. Solar storms can permanently damage electrical infrastructure such as power transformers and destroy undersea internet cables in many parts of the planet, resulting in an internet apocalypse that would leave much of the world's population disconnected for months. Remembering that NASA warned that, in 2013, the Sun will reach a phase of its cycle where large explosions and solar storms are more likely, and should affect our planet. The U.S. Congress has also issued a warning in the past for Americans to prepare for what is being called the solar storm of the century. Today's humanity would not be prepared to deal with such a change, unlike the peoples of antiquity. Population concentration in cities and the current inability to survive in extreme situations, without water, electricity, groceries, medicines, fuel, etc., would bring humanity to the brink of extinction, quickly. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate notifications, to receive new videos.